Welcome back to the channel, everybody. You've probably seen this before. We are at Rimrock Lake. It is the beginning of July, 2023. We've been here three other times, right? At least. I, I, three times-ish. And uh, we are collecting thunder eggs here. The, the reservoir is surprisingly low for the beginning of July. And I have cut a lot of thunder eggs from Rimrock Lake. Almost all of them are not good. However, um, we will, I'll show you this one right here. We'll put it right over Sarah's head temporarily. This is the best thunder egg that I have cut. Um, so although the ratio is kind of off, um, maybe 90% of what I've taken, I've cut and been like, meh, I'm throwing it away. I've gotten some good stuff. And because of that, we're here. The pickings are easy. Uh, I'm going to avoid the wall and just, we're gonna walk the, the bank, this steep bank back here and back here and hopefully find some complete ones and take those back so and then we'll cut them and it should be hopefully pretty good maybe we'll find some more good stuff right that's the hope that's the hope we got the we got the dog people keep asking me what type of dog Laika is what type it's of dog is Laika a cattle dog collie husky she was a homeless dog that we got from the shelter right yeah that okay let's find some thunder eggs so this would be uh one of the duds that you could get you can see that we got that rhyolite exterior if that was uh continued all the way around and it's just kind of a a bummer on the inside so got to find some nice complete ones though yeah so you can see if that was continuing all the way around and yeah, I mean there's some like little pieces of like agate in it. I wonder that kind of wants to break off right there. Let's there we go. <clears throat> yeah. So you'll get this kind of a uh, silicate filling. Um, some are obviously better than others. We'll look at that rock right back there real quick before we continue on with our hunt because that one's kind of a cool rock actually. You can see right here, there is a thunder egg. Well, that's pretty neat, isn't it? You know what else is neat? Making more content just like this. And I can't make more content just like this without the support of the people over on Patreon. You want to be one of those people? You want to make sure this project continues? Well, go check it out. There's links down below to Patreon. There's a thunder egg. There's one. There's one. There's one. Who knows how many more are in these uh, giant, giant rocks. But good luck. <laughs> good luck getting them out. Like, you know, that's going to be a, a nightmare to attempt to uh, chisel out. But uh, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be fun? Let's see. Like, you know, there's a, another little partial one. We need to flip this over right here. <clears throat> yeah. I guess that may have had some potential, but you know, that's the problem with the, some of these. That's why I wouldn't waste my time with the big ones as opposed to going for more little guys and even some uh, odd shapes like well, that's not one. Kind of looked like it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's good on the outside. And, you know, I don't have a boat, but I wonder about that little island. It looks like the deposit here continues over there. I think this could be one that's good. Well, we got a half. You can see it's got that star pattern. Maybe, uh, you know, I don't know. This is a hard maybe. Uh, a face cut on that might be interesting. Yeah, this is definitely a thunder egg. Ugh. 
Might have to work on that. But check this one out right here. Look at that. It's kind of cool. Look at that one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's kind of good. Yeah. Look at this. But the problem is then you get it and you can't cut it. This would fit into a 24, which uh, I have access to, although I don't have a 24. Uh, okay. uh, anything that won't fit in a 24, definitely don't take. But that's so perfect. That's so perfect. You were like, don't bother with the big ones. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? Yes. I'm going to leave that in. No, but you just found this good big one. I know. Look at that. Like, that's good. That's good. I mean, face cut on it? I don't know. I don't know. Here, you carry that one. Yeah? Oh, you want this one? Yeah. yeah. Why is my hand so sticky now? What? What do you got? That oh, that's very cool. That's actually on the upper end of what I've seen. Where's the rest of it? <laughs> I gotta get this wet. Check it out. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's gotta come home. The nice betroidal piece. That does not feel solid. Which that's promising. That's promising. All right. No. I say no. The face cut could be cool, but it could also not be great. This one right here feels heavy. I think there's a little piece of silica sticking out there. Let's get it wet. I'm going to... I'm going to say a yes to take it. <laughs> that looks like a piece of calcite. You cut any open with calcite? Uh-huh. That's interesting. Do you want this? Nope. You really kind of have to keep your eyes peeled for them because depending on how you look at them they could look like a thunder egg or just a rock sitting on the beach and you can miss it but <clears throat> you can see we clearly have that kind of a uh, almond shape here with that kind of ridge running around the hemisphere so it's got some weight to it we do have a crack it looks like we have that crack running right through the center which uh that might that could be good or bad <laughs> we could cut it on that so okay that is a seam it's kind of interesting The view out here is incredible, very pretty. So these uh, thunder eggs, one two gallon bucket, and this bucket here only has two thunder eggs, but this big one breaks my own rules that I probably told you at the beginning of this video of not collecting things that are uh, too big because the likelihood of it being bad is high. So. I don't know. Uh, these, however, though, I can chuck that in the saw and know real quick. Um, I think I might. I think I might leave this big thunder egg right here on this big rock, and uh, I'll take the one under it. Breaking it open. Yes, if you, you'll always regret it. It'll either be nothing, and you'll be like, eh. Sarah, you got a big oh, yeah, Sarah just handed me this uh, piece of rhyolite with this little fortification agate in there. Oh, hey. You just found that. Okay. Uh, 
I think this is acceptable. There's like four thunder eggs and a seam in that bucket. So we get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that weird one. I'm happy with that. Ten thunder eggs. How long have how long were we here? Yeah, 30, 60 minutes, not bad. Like is staring at people playing music. We gotta get these up to the car. And uh, as always, I mean, uh, Rimrock does pretty well. You know, I mean, it, it's abundant. It may not be the best Thunder Eggs in the world, but I'm happy with a little bit of gambling, especially when you're just uh, kind of surface picking them, right? Like, you can't complain about that. Free. Back from Rimrock Lake. I did do a little bit of cutting, not everything, but you know, the, it does have potential out there for nice, nice thunder eggs. I believe in it. I believe in it. It's, it's hard though. It can certainly be a little uh, disheartening when you cut a bunch of eggs and they look like that, where it's just kind of scraggly and not that good and you're just kind of like well when i say something is a dud i mean this basically like i won't be i'm not going to spend time cutting and pol well, cutting it and then polishing an egg like this once i have it cut it's just not worth it uh to me you know there's so many good thunder eggs out there and Rimrock, I don't think, is much of an exception. We just have to find them. We just have to find the eggs. So I cut that one. Cut this one. And it's kind of a... Uh, well, we have a lot of calcite. We have a lot of calcite in it. Uh, that's what this is. And a lot of this just kind of broke broke out. And that's not, not what you want out of a Thunder Egg. We want something nice and solid. So although these are Thunder Eggs and... You know, uh, an example, you have a little bit of calcine down here, and it basically transitions into calcite, which is interesting, but not what I want. I did cut this one, though. Look at that. This one is solid. We have calcine in here. And it's very... Uh, I'm going to polish this. I'm going to polish this. This is a, pr a good... A good thunder egg from there, which uh, they are somewhat uncommon, I would say. Um, but it's kind of not super flashy, but still kind of fun. Kind of a good one. So rather than continuing, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead here today. It's getting warm out here in the shop. These two, well, they're going in the discard pile. That one is a keeper. Oh. Hope you guys liked this video. Uh, shout out to all the people that support this content over on Patreon. Please go check it out if you like high quality educational content without all the clickbait nonsense. Well, that's made possible because of the fabulous folks over there on Patreon. And I will talk to you guys later.